This method can help answer key questions in the pathogenesis of infective endocarditis and pathobiochemistry fields such as the interplay between bacteria, blood cells and endothelial cells lining vasculature. The main advantage of this technique is that the tissue grafts might be directly exposed to mutual interactions with various targets, such as bacteria, platelets and proteins in standardized flow conditions. The implication of this technique extends toward therapy of infective endocarditis, because it can unravel important molecular interactions and factors driving high infectiveness of certain tissues. This method provides insight into pathogenesis of vegetation formation. It can also be applicable in studies investigating vascular permeability, cell mobility and gene cell expression. To begin the protocol, place a previously prepared tissue biopsy 10 mm in diameter and the same thickness between a microscope slide and an 8 mm circular perforation and a rubber gasket with the inner surface facing up to contact the bacterial suspension. Focus on the tissue graft orientation while placed in the holder. Make sure that the inner surface of the tissue physiologically exposed to the bloodstream faces up to contact your experimental medium. Next, insert the holder with the tissue into the gasket sheet that is embedded in the bottom metal frame of the chamber. Attach the upper metal frame with the corresponding gasket sheet onto the bottom of the chamber with the previously inserted tissue holder. Then mount the entire chamber with eight screws and screw nuts. Make sure that the chamber height is always the same across grafts by using a caliper.